So to solve this, we need to remember that when we have i, j, and k, i cross j equals k, j cross k equals i, and k cross i equals j. When we go the other way around, j cross i equals minus k, i cross k equals minus j, and j cross k equals minus i, and of course, i cross i, j cross j, and k cross k, are all equal to zero. So now we can expand. We have i plus j plus k cross i. That equals i cross i add j cross i add k cross i. And that equals zero minus k add j. So now we have minus k add j cross j. And that equals minus k cross j add zero, which equals I. So finally, we have I cross K, which equals minus J, which is the answer, D.